Here is another example that looks at converting an activity table into a directed network diagram. And, you know, somewhat like examples one, two, and three. This one's a little bit different though, in that some of the activities, if you notice, have three predecessors. So we've got activity D has three predecessors, A, B, and C. Activity G has predecessors E, D, and F. Uh, H has two predecessors. Notice also that I um, depends on D alone. Okay, whereby say for example activity G depends on both E, D and F. Now there's certain things here that are going on that we have not seen in the other examples so let's um, let's start this one. Now again I recommend that you uh, draw these network, directed network diagrams in pencil first because chances are look you're probably going to make a mistake somewhere or you may have to redraw the diagram to accommodate you know some uh, I guess some some connection or, or some sort of a relationship that you can see here between an activity and its predecessor. All right, so let's begin. We'll draw our starting vertex. Okay. You notice also that A, B, and C do not have predecessors. So let's start with those. Okay. Right. Now we have activity D depends on A, B, and C. So again, to avoid our um, multiple edges. Okay, we'll draw in our dummy activities. Okay, and then we can draw activity D. Okay, now, something here we just gotta be very careful about. Okay, activity G depends on E, D, and F. Yet yeah, activity I just depends on D alone. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, I've just done D there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw activity I um, after activity D. Okay, so I might just draw activity I this way. Okay, so that's done. Now activity E is drawn from activity A, as in drawn from, from the end of activity A. And activity F is drawn from the acti at the end of activity C. But activity G is drawn from the end of E, D and F. Okay, so E and F are included here. So in other words, um, we can draw E and F this way. Okay, E depends on A. Okay, F depends on C. But we have a bit of a problem in doing so. What's the problem here? Looking at this diagram, it looks like activity I depends on E, D and F but I only depends on D. So what do we do in this case? Okay, have a think about that. I'm gonna rub out this diagram, or at least part of this diagram, and I'm gonna redraw it now, so that it accurately represents what's in the table. Okay, how do we ensure that the way this network diagram is, is interpreted is interpreted correctly, okay? That I only depends on D. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw activity D again. But this time around, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dummy activity here. Okay. And I'm going to draw activity E. Okay. So that's that one there. And I'm going to draw activity F joining or joining together here at this vertex, which is drawn at the end of a dummy activity that's drawn after D. Now I can draw in activity I. Okay, so now activity I comes off activity D exclusively. Okay, E and F and D via this dummy activity, okay, end up at this vertex here. Okay, so I can, um, now what I can do is I can now draw in activity G. Activity G depends on E, D and F. Okay, so that's G. Okay, now H depends on A and G. Okay. So there's A here. Okay. And there's activity H. Okay. But activity H also depends on A. Okay. So the way I'm going to basically show that is again through A, dummy activity. That way. 
Okay, so that's H. Now, finally, H is one of the. It's it's a terminating activity. In other words, it's an activity that occurs just before the end. But so is I for that matter. So we're going to need one more dummy activity. This way. Okay. So just be careful when you're drawing these network diagrams that it's very important that you do show the, the dummy activities and, and in fact all the activities um, correctly and without any ambiguity okay, or, or any sort of lack of clarity. It's important that it's very clear that anyone looking at this diagram can clearly see that there is a, you know, what the connections are, where the dummy activities are.